it's there with East Woodland Survival. I'm in Maine, and I'm at the Maine Primitive Skills School, hanging out here with uh, Jimmy Kane and uh, Brian Manning, Chris Wick. <laughs> and we're going to go down and trash uh, Jimmy's little cabin thing. And uh, we're going to have a good time this week and uh, do a lot of filming, kind of show you guys what's going on up here. And uh, stay tuned. Bubba's ready. <laughs> Why's it gotta be Hillbilly? Bubba's ready. Yep. Oh, now we're Bubba. So, uh, the permaculture people are calling comfrey a dynamic accumulator of nutrients. So, or a mineral miner is another term for it. So, what it's doing is pulling up all types of minerals and nutrients from the soil, sometimes really deep down in the soil, pulling it up into the leaves. And here's a pear tree. We've got an orchard here with a bunch of different apple and pear trees. And I've planted a comfrey around them in this uh, circle. And as the comfrey plants grow bigger, what we're going to do is we take some of the bottom leaves off that are big, crush them up, rip them up, and then we can put them around the base of the tree. And that's one of the ways we can use comfrey because it will leach the nutrients down into the soil. And as these comfrey plants grow bigger, this is just first year, as they grow bigger, there'll be a whole bunch of leaves we can pull off and put around here so it acts as a mulch, so weeds don't come up and compete with these young trees. And that as it rains and the nutrients break down, it'll go into the roots. So it's kind of like a cool little thing. We're real into like easy gardening, you know, and this is a way to set it up. Where I'm just walking through, take off a bunch of leaves, put it around there, um, and good things are happening with just a little bit of time. You know? so that's another great use of comfrey. What were all the medicinals really quick you were, you were talking about a minute ago? Yeah, so uh, there's more, I'm sure, than I even know. Comfrey is a, uh, it's a healing herb. It, it regenerates skin cell growth really fast. Uh, so with things like uh, lacerations, as long as they're not deep, um, scrapes, um, any type of injury that's not too deep, I use comfrey. And what I do is I just will pick off a young leaf or so. And I'll either crush it or chew it up, uh, depending on you know what herbalism place you've studied. Some people don't like the chewing because of the bacteria in the mouth. Other herbalists say oh, it's not a problem, it actually helps it. But whatever your philosophy is, I'll crush it up, I'll put it on the wound, and then you know I'll wrap it in something. And <clears throat> that works really, really well as long as it's not a deep wound. If it's like a puncture wound or a deep laceration, what will happen is uh, the skin will heal over so quickly from the comfrey that it'll create an abscess underneath. So you don't want to do it for that. But um, any type of broken bone, heavily sprained uh, ankle or um, another joint that's been like really injured, um, taking comfrey root internally to aid with the healing. Uh, when Mike broke his neck, uh, we were giving him comfrey root massages externally, giving him comfrey root internally. And here's the disclaimer with comfrey, is take it at your own risk. Do your own research with all of these plants that I'm talking about. The FDA uh, has released studies back in the 70s that um, say comfrey gives you um, liver cancer. And that's because they isolated the alkaloid in it, gave it in high doses to small rats over like a period of months, and then they de developed liver cancer. So it's kind of like, you know, do your own research, take your pick. I feel that it's safe. Uh, used medicinally. I wouldn't drink it every single day. Um, I know a lot of old timers, especially up here in Maine, that eat the comfrey leaves, drink the comfrey root occasionally um, as a tonic, and they've never had any problems. So, When you make your, uh, your drink, are you doing a infusion? Or are you doing a decoction? Great question. I'm glad you asked. So normally with roots, I do doing decoction. It hot or cold? <clears throat> Normally with roots, with all roots I do a decoction, however comfrey is the exception to that rule. What I do with comfrey is they're, they're not woody roots, they're kind of fleshy. So with woody roots I'm going to boil them, I'm going to simmer them in, in a decoction. With comfrey, since they're so fleshy and they're, you need to be gentle with them. So what I do is I chop it up about a handful of good root, throw it into the mason jar, I cover that with about half an inch of cold water. Okay. And then I boil the water on the side, and I'll pour it in. And so it's almost like a gentle infusion. It almost goes against most herbalism with, with, with getting the medicine from roots. Mm -hmm. um, I'll cap it, I'll wrap a blanket around it or a towel, I'll let it sit overnight. 
So it's a very slow, gentle, long steeped infusion. And, um, and then I'll give it to the person who has a broken bone or something. Make sure that the bone is set before you start giving this to them. Because it, it, it will start, it will start right, to heal that quick. Right. Um, Very cool. Yeah, there's a million uses for comfort. Those are just some of them. Sweet. Thank you, sir. Yep. Yeah.